another lesson with the EMA? Well, this is actually not another lesson. It's just a continuation uh, or an update of the video which we did uh, less than 24 hours ago of the geopolitical factors and also the SHCs and also the CDCs. So, we said we have the SHCs which are JPY, CHF, and also gold. We say they become strong during such times where there is uh, global economic chaos. So in the case of the coronavirus right now, so you'll see the strength of uh, the SHCs. And we also have the uh, C. CDCs, the commodity dependent currencies or export dependent currencies. So the main ones are AUD, NZD, and also CAD or CAD. So these are the main CDCs. Then we also added uh, NASDAQ. We also added Nasdaq and uh, crude oil. So, all in all, a summary of what we were basically talking about is that during such times whereby uh, the coronavirus continues to spread and uh, it, it's causing the closing of stadiums, uh, the shows are being cancelled, the infections are rising. It, it's chaotic. So there hasn't been a vaccine yet. Uh, so this is what we see it in such times. The SHCs, JPY, CHF, and gold, they will gain strength, meaning they will rise. Then the CDCs, AUD, NZD, and CAD, they will drop. They become weak. Then NASDAQ will also drop as it's a stock index. When the stock market drops or crashes, NASDAQ follows. Then we also have crude oil. We said it will also drop. It follows the direction of NASDAQ and they both oppose the movement of gold. So let's just take a quick look. Let's just take a quick look if this is indeed happening. So we'll be focusing on this area here. I want you to focus on this area on this area here just look at the gaps then it continued to go down because the shc's are strong remember uh one other thing one other thing is that when we say a currency is going to be strong when we say a currency will be strong and then it's a quote that means the currency pair is going to go down so when we say jpy will be strong and you find that JPY is a code. This stands for any currency against JPY. So when we say JPY is going to be strong, it means this currency pair will go down. So every currency pair like this is going to fall because JPY is strong. But then when we say JPY will be weak, the currency pair will rise. Same applies for CHF. Same applies for CHF. When CHF is strong, the currency pair goes down. So when we say uh, the CDCs are weak, let's just say AUD. It means since AUD is a, a base in most cases, The currency pair will go down because AUD is a weak and it's weak and it's also a base. Same applies for NZD. I hope you are getting the picture right now. It will drop. Then gold rises.
gold will rise. Remember, gold is uh, is one of the SHCs. It becomes strong during such time. It rises. Then Nasdaq. Nasdaq falls. Then crude oil also falls. So let's just go and take a look. It hasn't been 24 hours yet since we made the last video, but then I just want you to take a look. I just want you to take a look. So let's go to, let's start with JPY pairs, AUD JPY. It kept down, then continued to go down. Because right now we have a, a CDC and also an SHC in the same. So there will be major movement on this pair. So we have a pair, a currency which is weak as a base. Then we also have a currency which is strong as a quote. So there will be massive movement on this one. It kept to the low then continue to go down exactly as we predicted cat jpy same story sc uh, cdc shc so we also have these ones uh this ones are both shcs but then jpy was the one which was more strong so it, it's going down any pair x x x jpy it's going down Euro JPY. Okay, it's taking time to load, but then the same story. Gap down, continue to go down. GBP JPY. So my network is it's having problems, but then we hope that you are able to get the picture. And the DJPY. Gap down, continue, USD, JPY. Same story. Now, let's go to CHF. You saw with USD, CHF, I started out with it. Gap down, okay, let's go. Gap down, continue to go down. CHF was strong. AUD, same story. CAD, you'll also find that it's the same story. Euro CHF, it's also doing the same thing. It's also doing the same thing. I'm, I'm having some minor network problems here with my connection, my internet connection, but then here, here, here it is. We are back now. So if you check, okay, GBP, gap down, continue to go down. Then, okay, NZD, Gap down, continue to go down. So there are major movements on pairs which have the uh, CDC and also SHC in the uh, the currencies. They have the two currencies which are SHC and CDC in the same currency pair. These are the pairs which move the most. As you can see, uh, AUD, JPY, and the DGPY, AUD, CHF, and the DCHF, they are the ones which move the most. So we said gold should go up. Kept up, spiked to the high. Gold euro uh, didn't move that much. Gold USD also went up. Uh, AUD and the D spiked on both sides because they are both, the currencies involved here are both uh, CDCs. Let's look at Lorenz D. Gap up, then spiking, but then it went really up. It went really up because NZD is one, remember, NZD is one of the export dependent commodities. It's, it's weak right now. It's weak. So, as you can see, major spikes, major spikes, and a major fall. More than 100 pips. It's actually more than 300 pips. If I'm not mistaken, these are big moves on a Monday. Not 24 hours have passed since uh, the currency market has opened.
but then we're already experiencing such. Once again, not surprised because we know what's running in the markets right now. Let's go to crude oil. We said it should fall. Gap to the low, it has continued to fall. Nasdaq, fall. Gap to the low, it has continued to fall. Just as we predicted. Just as we predicted. So, uh, from just from just seeing this, from just seeing this, you can see that uh, the market is reacting very crazy. It's reacting very crazy, but then we know why why it's reacting this way. We know why it's reacting this way. So, uh, eventually, there will be a vaccine or a cure. I don't know if a virus can be cured. I think it can be vaccinated against and treated. But then, whichever the solution for this virus, that's when you'll start seeing a reversal. That's why we start talking about the strategy called uh, buy fear and sell the greed. A strategy called buy fear. This is a strategy, uh, the one which, which we have just explained of geopolitical factors. Now, we have another strategy of buy fear and sell greed. So, we'll make another video for this strategy. Right now, we're just trying to highlight uh, how trading geopolitical factors can benefit you. It's a simple strategy, but then you just have to wait for a reaction. You don't just jump in due to headlines saying this and that. Because sometimes you can be sold a false story. You wait a bit because, remember, currencies take a, a bit longer to react as opposed to stocks and also commodities. Uh, the currencies take a, a bit longer. They can take days to weeks because they have more factors than geopolitical ones which determine their overall strength or weakness. So you can wait uh, days to weeks and even a month before you see your desired reaction. So remember uh, the, this. Remember this. You are not a trader because you are trading. Rather, you are trading because you are a trader. I hope I'm making sense right now. Because these are strange days we are living in. The balance of power is shifting from the hands that thought were in control to you. The balance of power is shifting to you who are ready to take over. If you are ready to take over, then the balance of power is shifting to you. So, this is your time. Please don't waste it. Please, please don't waste it. It's time to make a lot of money. We've already made money. It's time uh, we're going to make more. We've shown you the proof. We've shown you the results. We've shown you our results. Not only talking, but then we have traded these. We have benefited from this. We'll, be co we'll continue to benefit from this. Even if a solution, even when a solution is found, we know that a, re a reversal is imminent. We just have to wait a few weeks to some months for the economies to recover. Then we will start making proper money. So most technical setups are being invalidated right now. Most most strategies are having uh, false moves, are giving false signals right now. And uh, we can't blame them because right now what's moving the market is geopolitical fear. It's no longer about technicals or something. It's just pure uh, fundamental dynamics. What's happening right now? Because I don't know if you saw this, but then spikes like this, gaps actually, movements like this on uh, market open, for market open, this is just, and there were no news releases. Every pair, every pair, every pair is just going ballistics so uh, that's for now let's just wrap things up then we'll talk about uh, the strategy of buying fear and selling greed when the time is right to buy the fear you know because when this is happening uh, you should also know that make market makers they are having fun with such moves they even found such moves in validating technical setups, giving all sorts of false setups and everything. You know, you just have to be vigilant, be very vigilant when trading uh, in such times. 
you have to be very, very vigilant. Practice proper risk management and also do some research. You know, knowledge is power. Investment in it pays the greatest interest. So that's it for now. That's it for now. Thank you. Stay best.